We are beginning with a story that is picking up steam on social media in Santa Cruz tonight. People who live in the area are worried about dogs that have been locked in a truck for at least 30 days. The truck is parked next to his lawyer's office on River Street. Video of that truck is now circulating on Facebook as, campaign, as neighbors campaign to try and get the dogs out. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live in Santa Cruz with tonight's top story. Well, Aaron, the dog's owner had a stroke a couple of months ago, and his lawyer made an agreement with the property owner to leave the truck in that parking lot until he recovers. But the property owner says when he made that deal, he didn't know that there were animals inside. You can hear them. And next door businesses say three dogs have been in this delivery truck for more than a month. We kept hearing these dogs whining and crying and, and barking, especially in the afternoon when, when it was hot. A woman walks, feeds, and waters them each day and then puts them back. We were there Wednesday night when she arrived. She tells us we can't see them, but that they have been checked by animal services. Can you tell us how the dogs are? Because a lot of people are really worried about them tonight. They're good. They're fine. Mm -hmm. They're healthy and yeah. She says she's volunteering to care for the dogs as a favor to their owner's lawyer, Bruce Baum. Yeah, I give them food and water. And well, animal services looked at it and they had food and water. The front windows are rolled down and there's a makeshift stove in the driver compartment. But the dogs are closed into the back of the truck with no windows, just this broken skylight for ventilation. Cypress construction owner Michael Downey has offices here and says he's called police and animal services who say they can't break into a vehicle unless the dogs are in grave danger. He decided to mobilize via social media to get help. And in the hottest part of the day, there's direct sun on the back of that truck. And we just, you know, listen, listening to them day after day, it's been really hard, really frustrating. And everyone is honestly pulling together to try to do the best they can. So if there's anybody else who has any suggestions, I would wholeheartedly suggest they contact the attorney. The property owner says he's asked for the truck to be removed from the lot by Thursday morning. And while we were there this evening, police officers stopped by. They checked in with Animal Services for us. Animal Services says the dogs are being cared for and they are putting together a plan and are working on a plan to get the dogs removed from the truck and reunite them with their owner. Erin. Brittany, thank you. Uh, there may be a plan, but there's no word uh, from Animal Services on when they expect to put that plan into action.